might be a little too vibrating right now oh no okay my car just turned off um here we are uh this is the sixth or seventh event of the year it's august it's starting to cool off a little bit right now it's 81 degrees and quite humid but uh it's cloudy so that's good and today we're testing out all types of new things we got engine mount trans mount uh street sports from 034 we got the ultra racing front strut, strut bar uh verk line front lightweight tubular subframe and their modified kinetics control arms and ball joints um what else i think that's it so quite a bit of stuff going on in the front end it should change things dramatically because now we've added we're going from 2.2 to about two or from two point negative 2.2 to about negative 3.5 degrees of camber up front and I don't even know what the caster was before, but it's like 8.2-ish degrees of caster. So a lot of things change up there. Engine trans mounts holding things down a lot more stiff along with the upgraded dog bone bushings in the Verkline subframe uh, holding it down below. So whole motor waist stiffer should be uh, quite a bit more responsive and I should feel things more on the steering wheel because of the control arms and the strut brace um, keeping things real nice and tight up front. No more bushings that are flexing mid corner, getting alignment out of whack and whatnot. So, especially on bumps, there's a lot of small bumps up here that would mess with you. So, um, so hoping today's a good day, and it should be. I'm super pumped. I got my playlist ready. Traction control full off. We're ready to rip. great I can push so much more the car feels so much different up front now with all the extra camber and caster it's like you can like just in some of the corners I could feel like okay that that was my limit before so I can feel that I have like a way higher ceiling now I could push a lot more so the second lap we're gonna push a lot harder settle the car again and now it's more like my old golf where I can kind of like point uh, the front end and then kind of like let off and let the rear end kind of rotate a little and then get right back on the throttle so um, it's taking some getting used to but if I can get down below 40 today which is my goal upset
30.037 with a cone. I don't even know where I hit a cone at, but that lap was phenomenal. If I can lock it down a little bit better, there's one spot where I, oh, I had to like let off a little bit and get back into it. Um, yeah, if I can just get a, a smooth run, I'll, I'll make my goal of 39x. So I'm really, really happy. The car is like point and shoot. It's like just the perfect amount of oversteer and it's, it's just the back ends following the front and it's like such an odd feeling. It almost makes you want to stop what you're doing in the moment because it's like, oh God, this could end bad, but you need to just stay. It's like a mind over matter thing. Like you gotta just stay in it for it to complete. It's like, it's messing with my head because I feel like it's gonna, with the rear, when the rear end's coming out, I feel like it's either gonna catch and, and jump whatever direction I'm, I'm facing, which I'm not really counter steering. So it shouldn't be an issue. I just need to get it out of my head. Got it down to a 49. All right, boys, five. here we go. Lap number four. Let's not hit a cone this time. Breaking the 39s would be phenomenal. Only one lap after this. boys last lap let's hope I can pull it together here and Mark can he do it can no slows down a touch with a 39 650 That was fucking dope. Man. Can you guys see how well this car is acting? Oh my God. Please be it. Please be it. So Show me the money. 40.2. Damn it. Uh, oh, well. It was a lot of fun. Some well needed seat time. Very close to my goal, but not uh, just not enough. That was a lot of fun. Wow. Huge improvement for him. Eight and a twenty in the Camp C class. And Bryce Schenlicker in the Audi S3 tossing that car out there. Tires are screaming in protest, but the car looks like it's flying. So Bryce ran a 40.347 and slows down a tenth. So 40.425. So Bryce in the Audi S3. Again, now they're tapping on the door, knocking on the door of the 39. And just tossing the car, making those tires pay. But clean, makes it through the offsets. And Bryce finishes at a 40.226, about a 10. Sitting in bed here editing about a week later. Um, life's just been all types of things going on. We're going to school soon and getting this garage built and things going on every weekend, baby. Anyway, just wanna talk a little bit about the car. I really need just more seat time at this point. The car really doesn't need anything for autocross, um, but my intercooler does show up soon and paddle shifters paddle shifters might actually help because they're so teeny on there 
but uh, at this point I really just need seat time. The car points and shoots and grips. Um, there's a couple spots because that you guys see there, that surface isn't the best. Some of the like harder bumps, like at the very end when I'm coming around um, the back turn and trying to you know, just get full throttle to get through the exit. There's a really hard bump there that, that kind of messes me up. And then the very beginning of the course, I just couldn't seem to get that down right as either go slower in the beginning and line yourself up or go too fast or go a little bit faster. And I was trying to get the car to swing more in, but I just couldn't uh, mentally get myself to do it properly because I was so not used to the way the car reacts to things. So really, I just need more seat time to get the car um, to even get those times down the way I want. But um, the all across coming back up again in a couple of weeks. And I'm super excited. You know, we'll have more weight on the front end now with the bigger intercooler, but, um, yeah, just, I got the tires that are on the fronts right now are significantly worn more than the back. So I'm going to rotate those should have a bit more front grip for the next one and, uh, a little gr less grip in the, in the rear. So that might actually help a little bit. Maybe not. We'll see, but, uh, made this far. Thanks for watching. Really just need some driver mod, but I had a ton of fun. All the Verkline stuff is just amazing. And I'll be coming out with a video talking just about that soon. I want more seat time to give a better understanding. And then, the, uh, like I said, the Verkline dog bone bushings were great. The 034 engine trans mount, awesome. Front strut bar, awesome. And just, uh, like I said, more seat time. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip flop.